Hi there, it's Diane Evans with StampingWithDiane.com. I'm an independent Canadian Stampin' Up! demonstrator here in the interior of British Columbia. So welcome to the International Crafters um, Video Hop. Um, our theme this month is to do a fun fold or a fancy fold. And I've decided to do a swinging gate fold card. It's relatively easy um, and I'm going to use some new products. So it's always fun to do that. So um, just remember, um, the, I will be talking about uh, imperial measurements, but all the um, metric measurements will be down in um, the description down below. And if you have any questions at all, um, just reach out to me. All right, so let's just hop on right on down. We're not going to waste any more of your time. So this is a brand new bundle from... Um, the new annual catalog. It's part of a mega suite. It's called Country Flowers and it does come with this beautiful, it's like an eyelet sort of um, designer series paper. It's quite neutral. It has the misty moonlight. It has uh, smoky slate in it and this new um, beige color, um, basic beige. And then on the back are some other ones with petal pink really nice sort of type um, colors that go together and very, very subtle. So I thought, well, for this particular one, what I'm going to do is I will show that. Another thing that's included in this suite is this Eyelet 3D embossing folder, which I am also using today. And along with the mega suite are these um, smoky slate and basic gray pearls, and they're just gorgeous. They um, And of course, I'm going to be using, um, with this particular one, I'm going to be using um, Misty Moonlight on here because it matches the um, the designer series paper. So I'll show you what those are as we go along. Very simple. Um, so I will do it step by step. Okay. So I have a regular half a piece of cardstock. Um, it's the Misty Moonlight. And it is, and like I say, I'm doing all of these in Imperial. It's five and a half by eight and a half. And I've scored it at four and a quarter and two and an eight. Those measurements will also be in, like I say, the metric. So we're just going to go and we're going to fold in this way. And then we're getting like a Z fold is what's really kind of happening, happening with this. Um, but this is going to turn like this. I'm going to just fold that like that. But then I want this to come this way actually, because this is going to be, it's kind of like a gatefold. And what it's going to do is I'm going to have the image that pops up from there. All right. So I have um, this piece. Uh, I have two pieces of this basic white and we've got it just as a very, very fine layer. And I'm just referring to my notes to make sure that I've got the right sizes. Um, so I am going, to, I have this basic white, two of them at two inches by five and three eighths inches. And that's just a really, really small border on there. And my designer series paper is one and seven eighths by five and a quarter. And we're going to actually, let's put that on before we go ahead and do this. Now, normally I don't use stamp and seal, but I'm going to use stamp and seal today because I think my glue is at the other end of the table. So we're just going to go and just get a very, very faint border around there. And I'm going to be wishing I had the glue. I know I am. We might just take the time and go get it. So we we'll just put that on there like that. Like I say, it's a very, very faint um, border on there. And we're going to do the same on here. So when we put this on here, there's this wasn't isn't of course my original design i can't even tell you whose design this was um but they had some things that were done a little bit different and i'm going to do them a little bit different myself now i happen to have two pieces of this basic white and this is what's going to give me the swing um or the um yeah the swing part to this the gatefold part so these pieces are um half an inch by two inch and they're scored at four at uh, one and a quarter and i'm just going to go in and fold these in like this and then i am going to have this come on here um now 
the original way that they went and did this was they had it coming on the designer series paper. I didn't want it to show. Um, I wanted it to be hidden on this part here. So that's the reason why I'm going to go ahead and do it that particular way. Thought I should grab my tear and tape there as well. And I've got the glue. So I could turn around and I could use glue on this, but I'm going to use tear and tape on here. So I just put some tear and tape right there and some tear and tape on here. And then we'll put the tear and tape on there um, for the front part as well. All right, I always use my um, take your pick to take, take this off. And I'll just take this one off as well. There we go. All right. So this is just going to go on here like so. And we're going to get this right pretty close up to that part there. Um, so it's just like that. And then we're going to put this even to this side as well. And then that's when we're going to put this on here. And you see now, if, if I had done this, it would have shown on the outside, but I wanted it to show on the where it didn't show that much. So I am going to go ahead and use the glue because I have more wiggle room with it. So let's just put this right on here. There. Isn't that pretty, that stuff? It's so pretty. And like I say, we've got this part done. And then now I can turn around and we can start doing some of the decorations um, on the inside as um, for the outside and the inside as well. So this just goes like this. Then we have this piece here. And this is, this is that eyelet piece. And actually just put this like this now I'm gonna layer this on now this basic white is um, uh, two and three quarters by four inches and this piece happens to be two and seven eighths by four and an eighth like I say we're getting just a basic border and isn't that eyelet so cute so we're gonna glue that on as well and then you'll see how this swing part works It's a very small border, but just enough to make a difference, right? And then when we come back on here, see this is going to go right here. And then when we go to pop this up, it's going to pop up. That's what's going to happen. So I'm going to come again and use the tear and tape on here. I want it to be stick really good. The glue would work well as well. So let's just put that there. And that just goes on to your the um, exposed basic white and some here and then this we're just going to put that we're going to just hold that down like that and I am going to get this centered as best I can and see there now that's what gives that fold is just like that and see you're seeing the back there it might have even been better to use the the um I think we're okay with that all right so now let's go ahead and let's get some images here now this stamp set has some beautiful images um and dies to cut them out as well um, I thought I'd use the bucket and then this particular one. Um, I think this would be really good um, in the dies, actually. They have not only the bucket sort of thing in the teapot, but they also have um, a smaller one um, that you could put like these succulents in or something like that. Um, so let's go ahead and just stamp those. And I'm doing it in Memento and it is a photopolymer stamp set. So we want to go and use our paper piercing mat. And let's just put the bucket down. And then we're just gonna take these images as well. There we go. 
Now there's dies to cut these out, but I'm going to show you how I did the coloring on here. I am a big lover of um, the gray granite. The gray granite to me is a better gray. I find the smoky slate is just a bit too um, dark for me. Now I guess if that's what you want. So I'm just going to color this part. And we're saturating that and then let's just come in and we're going to get some shading with the dark gray granite i'm just going to color this part because it is at the bottom we want two tones to it just at like this and let's just get a bit of this right along here. And then I'm just coming in with my light gray granite. And we're going to just get some coloring on there and just taking that so that those lines don't really show. But you have that, that shading effect. And you notice that didn't quite go right to the end. And then for my flowers, I used um, the light um soft sea foam for some of the leaves i'm going to use some dark for some of them i thought this looks like a leafy area there so whoops looks like i colored a flower there and then i'm going to use the darker oh that was the light this was the dark no that was the light too here's the dark so I'm going to actually, well, I'm going to come in with the light first and saturate this and then come in and color with the dark on there. Make sure you put that those lids on properly onto your, your Stampin' Blends. I, my this one went and went dead because of it. Now we do have the fantastic pink on here. Now I could turn around and I'm even thinking what would be really nice with this is the petal pink. You know what? I know originally when I did this, I thought, oh, I'll just do it in the, oops. oops. Um, I've got a dark petal pink and I need my light petal pink. Oh. Here we go. So I thought the colors will go light here. And I was actually going to put like a navy blue. Um, or a, the night of navy in there. But I, I did try it. And I'll show, it, show you what it looks like. And I didn't quite like it as much as... I think this petal pink will look. And then just come back in with this. And just color that in and get And I see I missed some here too as well. There we go. So at this point, then you can come in with your dies and you could um, cut them out. So the one I used was this one and this one. And we'll just quickly put those through our mini cut and gloss. Like I say, I was originally going to do it in the pinks and I didn't like the pinks. Um, so I don't need to cut, cut out the, um, the bucket, but I will cut out the flowers because I want to go with this color flower instead. Oops, this is just going to go like this. Actually, I'll bring it off here and just put it on there. Yeah, I decided mid 
midstream to change the colors. Let's just get that right on there. And then we can just put that through. And you know what? I have to cut this because it's just a tiny bit too big on there. So remember to go to the next um, video. Um, very important that you do that. Leave comments on there. Um, this is trying to drive people to our um, videos. Remember to share the video. Give us a like. Um, we really do appreciate that. Right, so I'm just going to come in with this. And like I say, originally what I was going to do was I was going to um, do it with the pink and the navy, which, like I said, I've got it like that. But I thought this one might look a little bit better. Um, actually, I don't know which one. You know what? I'll use this one originally then. There again, I go and I color and then I change it up. All right, so we're just going to come in with our dimensionals. People ask me why I have um, this, these blue scribbles on my um, dimensionals. That's so that I can find them on my desk. So that's a good tip for you. I color both sides so that I can see it and I just color it with a stamping blend. Um, that way, it's not going to rub off. It's not going to do any coloring. If you use a marker, it could tend to come off. All right, so let's just go ahead and put this here. Let's Now, I went and I did cut. This is going to go like this. I did go and cut some of these leaves because I thought, oh, we can add some leaves behind. And then let's just put that on there like that. And I also have pink flowers here that I could have added down here. But I think I'm just going to leave those just like that. I think that's enough on there. Now, I also wanted to do a sentiment. And I thought this best friend ever would be amazing. But I wanted to do it on um, the misty moonlight. So I'm going to actually um, come in and we are going to do white embossing powder on here. So I'm just using my embossing buddy. I'll come in with Versamark and stamp that. Or we could use silver on here too, because if I use those silver dots, I'm just going to put this on there. Um, no, I think I'm going to go with the white because I think that would be better. It's going to show up better. And we'll just put that on here. So like I say, all the measurements will be down below in the metric and imperial. And we'll just use our heat tool. Just get that on. Oops. The heat tool has to be plugged in now. And you think you're all ready to go on a video and something happens. So just going to set this up. And then we're just going to put it right across there. Now, I'm not even going to pop that up. What I'm going to do is put some glue. This is already popped up. Otherwise, you're going to have an uneven, uneven part. So I'm just going to put that there. And then we can come in and do our embellishments. Now, there's two things that we could have done. Like I say, these embellishments come with 
this one here. We do also have um, the in color dots because this is a petal pink. I mean, pretty in pink. But I think I'm just going to go with the silver and we'll do the smoky slate one there as well. All right. So we'll just put one big one there and a small one. And let's see. There we go. Now for the inside, there was, there was two options that I could do. I could come in. This is just going to pop up like this and it just pops like that. Um, I wanted to go in and this is four by five and a quarter. I'm just going to go in and let's. go and put these flowers down at the bottom. I could color this. We could decide whether or not if I'm going to color it or not. I'm just going to come in here. Just there. And I can color it. And the reason I can color it is because it's on this white and for it to bleed through, it won't, it won't affect the card itself. If it was a basic white, um, oops, that's the dark. If it was a basic white interior and the card base, I would definitely have to um, not color it, but I can color this. Um, so just come in with the dark. And then we'll just color the rest with the pretty in pink. This is the light. It's quite dark, the light petal pink. Um, but I'll come in and do this. So I hope you're enjoying this. There we go. See how it comes through. That's why I was saying if it was a, a basic white base, we couldn't do that. Just like that. This is four by five and a quarter. And there's our card. So it's going to come like this. You're going to see this like that. But it displays really nice on there. So this is... It is a swinging gatefold card. So I hope you enjoyed that. Um, remember um, to give us a thumbs up, share our video. We really do appreciate it. Thanks so much. Bye for now.